This conference will now be recorded. Today we are going to talk about the 10 common financial mistakes to avoid. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jenna Witherby and I'm one of the advisors on the team at 401k Plan Professionals. We focus 100% of our time on corporate retirement plans, serving both the plan sponsors who offer the plans as well as the employees who participate in them. So today's topic is a part of our quarterly webinar series. We take about 15 minutes and talk about a variety of different topics, not just particular to the 401k. Um, we will do these the second month of each quarter. So the next one will be in August. We will send out the recorded link after doing the meeting live. We will also post it to our website and our YouTube channel. Sometimes we pay so much attention to what we should do when it comes to our finances, but we don't spend enough time thinking about what not to do. So today I'm going to cover 10 common financial mistakes to avoid. The first one is impulse investing. Avoid investing based on a whim or a tip. Avoid investing on something that somebody told you, your neighbor, a friend, a colleague. Um, Make sure you're not investing just because you read something in the newspaper or online or something like that. Just always try to be thoughtful and strategic when it comes to your investment strategy. The second common mistake is lacking an overall plan or strategy. Instead of thinking about financial decisions in isolation, make sure you're looking at the big picture. Think about how individual elements might affect or are affected by other elements. So a great example here would be asset allocation in your 401k plan. You might be invested in five different mutual funds, and maybe over the last few months, one of them was underperforming, but that doesn't mean that all of them were underperforming. So you have to look across all of your investments, um, also all of your accounts. So you might have a 401k account, but you might also have a pension or an IRA at your bank. So you have to think big picture when it comes to your investment strategy. Saving for retirement should be one of your top priorities, especially if your company matches you, but even if they don't, you need to be saving money for retirement, putting money aside from every paycheck. And through the 401k, deductions can be made very simple for you because they're done automatically through a payroll deduction system, um, so you don't have to think about doing it. Time is definitely your friend when it comes to saving for retirement and investing in general. So compound growth, in other words, earning interest on your interest, is one of the great ways to experience growth in your account. Simply put, the people that start saving earlier in life probably have to save less than somebody who started saving later in life since they just have more time for their money to compound and grow. So the earlier you can get started, the better. The next common financial mistake is not paying attention to risk, because keep in mind, the stock market doesn't always go up. Therefore, we can't ignore risk. Risk and, re risk and return tend to go hand in hand. In other words, the more risky an investment is, typically the more potential for reward. So in addition to keeping in mind your time horizon, your age, um, in mind when it comes to investing, you also need to think about your personal risk tolerance because everybody's different. Are you more aggressive, more of a risk taker, more of a gambler, or do you prefer slow, steady growth, you're more conservative, you don't like to take on a lot of risk? So there are risk tolerance quizzes out there and you can ask us too to help you. Um, if you don't know what your risk tolerance is, you can do one of those questionnaires and kind of see where you fall. The next mistake is not diversifying. This is something that you should stay away from. The more concentrated your investments are, the higher the risk of loss. It's very important you manage your risk by owning a variety of different investments just because different things do well at different periods of time. And you may have heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. That definitely stands true when it comes to investments. The next mistake is not working with your spouse towards the same goals. 
Um, couples should actively talk about their financial goals and coordinate their investment strategies as well as their budgetary practices. I know this can be a hard thing. A common thing many couples argue about is money and finances. So here I would just say the more communication, the better. The next mistake is not maximizing your retirement plan. Uh, this can be detrimental to your finances. And as I mentioned earlier, saving should be one of your top priorities. Many companies offer a retirement plan and some even offer matching contributions or profit sharing contributions. If they do match, you shouldn't leave any match money on the table because that's just like giving away free money, passing up free money. So your employer-sponsored retirement plan is one of your most important benefits that you want to take advantage of. Next is cashing out or borrowing from your 401k account. This can be very detrimental to your finances. Last quarter, we talked about having an emergency fund saved up. So if unexpected expenses do come along, you don't have to make an early withdrawal from your 401k. Taking out money early from your retirement account can result in tax implications as well as a penalty tax. And we're actually going to be talking about this in more detail next quarter, so for the August webinar. Lastly, another common mistake is not following your investments. Yes, you can hire a financial advisor. Yes, you can ask people for advice. But ultimately, it's us as individuals who have the responsibility for investments. So be sure that you stay in tune with your investments and ultimately decide the best strategy for you. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us or for watching the recording. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to our team and our next webinar will be the first week in August. Thank you.